Oh, hell no. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. We're taking a break over here. Now, we're now, instead of... I showed you the right-hand front lower deck. As soon as you came in through the screen porch, we came into the entranceway to the other two decks. But not into the house proper yet. We haven't gone into the house. We're back out on the front deck again. Lower level. But we're now sitting on the left of the house, facing the house. And I'm about to take a soda break. I'm going to show you how that works. Because we're going to do an El Cheapo homesteading deal. But in the meantime, let's swing you around here and show you what I'm looking at. That I'm actually sitting on. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, that's fell away from the wall and the door frame there is bowed. And that's the good part of the porch that I wasn't afraid to walk on and should have been. There's apparently Epsom salt spilled there. There's more up in the window. We'll show you that in a minute. Try paying you around here. We'll come up. I think it's the corner of the house. Oh, that stuff just hanging there. So I'm going to try to spin this. Without using the mount. I'm going to try to take it back down. Look. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Or a yellow jacket or something behind me. He's pretty close to me. Zoomed in. <coughs> yep. In the lovely porch. <sighs> Sad. It's really dropped off. So, let's look out at the rest of the walkway coming up to the front of the house. I don't know what we can see. It's from the porch section. And now there's a walkway going out to the truck. There's a truck. Now I'm going to show you me in my little backpack situation of what I brought in here. <coughs> to make my situation work. Show you. <laughs> Trying to find my chair so that I'll be able to show you my backpack. It's actually just not seeming to show up. What is that? That's my pant leg. Because <laughs> I'm too low. chair. There's a chair leg. Haha, -ha, there I am. Sort of. Well, let's just go for the backpack. 
Because I'll put it under there. Okay. And unzoomed it, maybe. That might be the problem. Huh. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to get the camera bag. Or tripod bag. Oh, there. Carrying up here. See, got my camera bag in here. With all these little big dabs. I you can see in here. And there we go. The camera bag. Extra batteries. Battery container. Whoops, where am I? There we go. Can't get this on camera there. So this way you need somebody else to film for you. <laughs> it would help. <laughs> Extra batteries. the lens cap that I always forget to take off. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Extra cap for other lenses, but I got something in there. No, I don't. But I had an extra SD card in that, but I don't. <clears throat> Let's put that back up. So we need it. Here. Oh, what we got going on? Going on here is cooler, which I normally use to bring hot food home from. You know, if I go grab me a Burger King Whopper or something, I throw it in here. When I get home, it keeps it keeps it nice and hot for me. But it also works for keeping things cold. Ta da! I'm a cherry Pepsi fan. Ugh. <clears throat> Definitely a cherry Pepsi fan. But that this morning before I went to Family Dollar and stocked up on ugh, two of those big boxes of sodas. And then we went for the ice cold 7 up. Cost me 10 bucks for ice for the cooler. I think that guy sold me four large bags. At first he sold me two, and when I got two bags, then I went back in to buy two more. Because it didn't put this much ice in my cooler. It was about the most pitiful thing. It wasn't going to work for nothing. So I went back in to get two more. And when I went back out, I was looking for one that wasn't as frozen tight. Then I found these larger bags. I paid $4.44 for the first two and $4.44 for the second two. So I got one of the big bags and I put it in my cooler and it was completely full then. But I got one of those in the first place. I probably wouldn't have needed any more than just one bag. So I went back in to talk to him and he tried to tell me that he sold me small bags. But I think he was full of it and he didn't reimburse me for one of them. Ouch. He just, he was just a jerk. He made me mad for a while when I got over it. But I told, I did, tell, though what I did, I ended up not getting anything reversed. I didn't even press it. I just walked out and told him, though, that I felt robbed. I, I did, I felt robbed. <clears throat> you know, there's a point when you're, you, you know, feel like you've been treated well. And there's a point when, he, see, he didn't give me a receipt the first time when I got $20 worth of gas. <clears throat> Because that's how much I'd already gone through to get here. Well, since I'd last got gas along the way. I think I got $20 along the way also. And, you know, 
had a full tank before I left. So I think I've got $40 worth of gas since I left home with a full tank. <coughs> so the guy was kind of just a jerk. So I've got to cool back down and hydrate. And if I showed you my face, you'd see why. I'm like really swelling. And you can see I'm just like tiny. My, my wrists are tiny. They're like almost non-existent. Look at that. Compared to a finger. That's like not somebody who's fat. By any means. By any means that is not somebody who's fat. And yet, I think it's angle right in there. I'm to prove my point, but <clears throat> my stomach is so bloated. My feet were so swollen, and my face is so swollen. That this is why I hide from y'all. <clears throat> I don't even want to show you. Ugh. But anyways, let's come over here and show you the problem. Uh oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh oh. I have canceled my video. Oh, 